Okay, my name is Katrina Mostyn. I'm a PA teacher at Morris Sisters College Woolwich. I'm 26 years old and um, I did Empower You in October 2006. Uh, my name is Gillian Bryant and I'm one of the house coordinators at Morris Sisters College at Woolwich, um, which is an all-girls school. Um, my name is Yanin Clark. I am a teacher here at Morris Sisters Woolwich, but I'm also a mother of all three. Um, for a long time I just heard very general things, so I'd hear Empower You and not really know what the girls were talking about. Um, it wasn't until one of the girls in my Year 11 class who I would have a general chat with every now and then and then the Monday after she had done Empower You, she came up to my desk, sat herself down and just could not stop talking for about 25 minutes. And this is a kid that you just say hi and bye and very general. So. She just raved about the whole thing and said she'd never felt so good about herself in such a long time. Okay. I, I've heard um, quite a bit through the student body about the how you uh, being something that a lot of the girls were involved in at a, at a weekend level. And the first uh, concrete thing that came to me was one of my year 12 students, um, Stacey, came to class one day and to avoid doing work possibly, um, started to give me financial advice and asking me, you know, whether I'd bought a house yet and how I was going to get a deposit together and out of curiosity I said to her, you know, Stace, so why are you interested in this? And she started giving me advice on how to best invest my money and um, I was wondering, of course, where a 17-year-old would have kind of got information like that and, um, and she was telling me that at the course, you know, um, the, the course had, had dealt with financial issues, how the girls could best save their money and kind of getting them focused on things. So I thought that was an amazing really positive thing to have girls thinking about their lives um, in the future. I guess that's when it really caught my attention because in PE there are issues that we're dealing with all the time, um, self-esteem, self-confidence, um, body image, all those sorts of things. So it really intrigued me and I wanted to find out more about it. So I started talking to a few of the girls and, um, and yeah, they just all absolutely loved it. And these are girls that were really shy and didn't feel confident in themselves. So to, to see them come out of their skin was just such a good, good thing to see. Obviously the principal um, offered you the opportunity to go along and attend the UK program with all of the other participants. Some of them are actually students of yours. Yes. Um, what were your thoughts about going along? Um, I was really excited to start with. Um, our principal offered, you know, Sister Fidela said it as a joke to start with and I said, okay, I'll do it. And she said, right, you're on, you're going this weekend. Um, and I was quite excited about it. And then I kind of thought from a student perspective, they might be a little bit freaked out that I was there as well. Um, and I started to worry that maybe the program was just for students and that I wouldn't really get anything out of it and I might actually put the girls off. But um, that definitely was. So that not being the case, what was it like on Sunday night finishing the program? So you've gone through and tell you now, you know what all the other students have been raving about, what was it like for you? Um, I haven't felt that positive in a long time, probably in about a decade, I don't think I felt that good. I felt as though all my negativity had kind of been washed away and um, I was actually quite excited to go to work on Monday morning and, um, and talk about it and start to put some of the things in practice in my in the classroom as well. Um, when my principal asked me if I would like to go, my immediate reaction was yes, because I'd heard so many positive things about it. So that was straight away, yes, I would love to. Then that was on the Tuesday and we started on the Friday. Then I started thinking during the week, it's a lot of time to give up on the weekend to kind of go to something that you're not sure what you're going to get out of it. So I would guess I was kind of thinking, oh, do I really want to go and all those sorts of things, but went along. At the beginning, um, I guess a bit sceptical because I'm 26 and a lot of the teenagers were there so I thought I would be very much a spectator for the weekend rather than a participant but um, straight away the, the way that the course is presented um, and the way that it's run and all the help with the assists it's just it's impossible not to get involved it really is. Um, if you didn't get involved you'd feel like such an outsider because just the whole vibe of it is fantastic. Um, as well as that, um, 
I guess my big, my hope would be that more staff members could actually do the Empower You program as well. Um, I just think if people could feel half as positive as Katrina Moston and myself felt after we did the course um, a few weekends ago, that would be an enormous gift to the staff as well um, and allow people to see um, just how much, I guess how much progress you can make when there's such a positive vibe in the classroom um, and, I, and that's definitely something I've noticed amongst the girls that have done the program. Um, they're just, they're happier because that's such a big concern about teenagers these days. There's so much pressure from the media, from parents, from everywhere pretty much. So to see kids happy again, I think it's really sad because when I was a child, I could be a child, I could be a teenager and not be judged so harshly. So I think it's a really, really big problem that we're facing these days that kids don't feel that they can be themselves. So to see kids happier, to see them um, more confident in the way they're talking in class, in the people that they're hanging out with, I think that's a big concern as well because they end up hanging out with people because they feel they have to, otherwise they'll be isolated. But now they seem to be making more decisions for themselves, which is great to see. From a teacher's perspective, I can't think of anything else that would give our kids the tools to carry on um, life. In teaching, we give them the academics. I'm going to start crying now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, as teachers, we are in charge of giving our students all of the academic information that uh, they need to go on through life. There's so little opportunity to be able to teach them other strategies to handle that academic life and that social life that they're there. The students that I've seen that have gone through Empower You have both those sets of tools. We provide the academics and Empower You provides them with the tool to handle that sort of um, situation in their life and be the best student they can be.